what's up everyone and welcome to your last tutorial in prototype section and finally we'll be ending this boring uh, series of prototypes and we'll be starting with some cool and real use JavaScript commands and APIs and like that so to summarize this let's see what we have learned so far from tutorial number 10 or 12 I don't remember uh, in the prototypes first of all what are prototypes prototypes are the JavaScript inheritance model like prototype inheritance model with the JavaScript uses instead of the classical inheritance model now why prototypal inheritance model is different from classical inheritance model this is because in prototypes we don't have classes we just have objects and instances of objects and constructor function acts like a base class for example creating a prototype with the base class uh, we just do this dot x is 100 this dot y is 200 this dot z is function which returns us this dot x star this dot y and down here we can create a new object and if we console log this then it says what does it say 200 star 100 is like this the next thing is the inheritance of one class into another for example if we create another base class 2 base class 2 and write this dot a is equal to 300 and this dot b is equal to 400 and we do base class dot prototype notice that we are assigning this base class 2 to the prototype chain of base class dot just simply the prototype is equal to new base class 2 now the prototype chain inherits all the properties of the base class 2 and the methods if available now object dot a should print out 300 this is inheritance in prototypes I'm just going too quick because this is summarizing prototypes lesson if you want to learn in detail and where I have took time to explain then go ahead and go back in the list of playlist and you'll see we have a lot of tutorials on prototypes the next thing what is the next thing was I guess we created and manipulated yeah the next thing is private variables for example if we create var a is equal to 100 var b is equal to 200 then let's say a a and b b because we do we have a, a variable here so object dot a a would print out undefined because this is not attached to the prototype chain and this is the scope of this variable is local to this constructor class but the base class dot a a would echo out 100 but this variable could be used right here in the class itself and we could just use object dot z should return us with the same result because the constructor class can access its private methods and f uh, properties the next thing we learned about is, is the static methods. Now the static methods are like if I create base class dot my method function return three, then object dot my method does not exist. It will throw an undefined. But if I do base class dot prototype dot my method then this would return 3 because now my method is attached to the prototypal chain or basically the prototype chain of this class uh, the constructor function the next thing in the last tutorial we learn about or maybe a uh, tutorial before the last creating a con uh, custom string function which returns us the reverse of any word or sentence like that I'll just copy the code from the last tutorial 
uh, as you can see if we do like this uh, let's copy this one as well uh, just do wave b then it should return the reverse of above string I don't have time to sit and write every single letter in the reverse format but it would be something like like this you can check it in your console browser so that's all for the summarizing of prototypes I hope you're clear with the prototypal inheritance model and how does JavaScript prototypes work if you are not go back in the playlist and watch tutorials again and again and I'm pretty sure you'll master in prototypes in JavaScript if you still need my help you are free to comment below and ask for any help or leave any suggestion and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe that's very important